A group of senior legal scholars from New South Wales and Victoria wrote to the NSW Attorney General urging him to immediately release Kathleen Folbig from prison. Key points last month. New scientific evidence was accepted in a forensic investigation as grounds for reasonable doubt over Kathleen Folbig's convictions. Last month, new scientific evidence was admitted on grounds of reasonable doubt about Kathleen Folbig's convictions. Folbig remained in prison awaiting the final report of Commissioner Tom Bathurst Folbig. The letter comes just weeks after an investigation into the case found that there was reasonable suspicion regarding each of Folbig's convictions. The NSW woman served 20 years in prison after being found guilty of in Caleb, Patrick, Sarah and Laura, who separately between 1989 and 1999. In his letters to Attorney General Michael Daly, signers have an important agreement that expert evidence supports the finding of natural causes for death of children. Mahira San Roque, Associate Professor of Law and Justice at UNSW, is a co-author of the letter to Mr. Daly. It very clear from closing presentations from attorneys assisting and especially director of public prosecutions that investigator was very open to Commissioner Tom Bathurst to establish that there are reasonable doubt. Regarding the convictions, he said at 7.30. Mahira San Roque is one of the co-authors of the NSW Attorney General's letter urging Kathleen Folbig's early version. Retired Chief Justice Tom Bathurst KC is preparing a final report, but scholars say it sets precedent for the release of a prisoner in Australia. During investigation, scientific evidence a rare genetic condition affecting two of the children was accepted by Director Public Prosecution as grounds for reasonable doubt over Folbig's convictions. In addition, New psychiatric evidence has found a misinterpretation of diary entries made by Folbig about his children, which were originally used to secure prosecution against him. Investigations heard from a number of experts who were able to contextualize these diaries contextualize the way of speaking to make it clear that they were in range. Given the circumstances, what could be termed mundane or normal responses are, frankly, extraordinary, Dr. San Roque told 7.30. Legal precedent Dr. Obviously, the prime example or precedent for this would be Lindy Chamberlain, San Roque said. In 1986, Lindy Chamberlain was released just after a matinee jacket belonging to her child was found on Uluru and weakened the basis of her conviction. Dr. San Roque said the investigation into Ms. Chamberlain's full exemption took place only in 1988. She continued, saying he was released immediately upon the discovery of this evidence, but his actual proceedings did not occur until a few years after the last edition of his convictions. Now 55, Folbig is serving a 25-year sentence for three counts of an manslaughter. In their writing to the NSW attorney G, 